Competing right after Savage is Wonder Woman. She has been to the finals a few times before, and we're excited to see her advance to Stage 2. Next up, we have a very popular contestant from prior years. It is groundskeeper Willie. He has been all the way to the last stage of the finals here in Los Legos. Let's see what he's working with today. He is making his way across the course as many members from Springfield watch on, including those in Mr. Burns' box. And they were not disappointed as Willie will be advancing. Next up, we have Leonardo, who was right behind Willie, and he will also be advancing to stage two. And then from Legoopolis, we had Batgirl, who is not as much a veteran as these other competitors, but she will be making her way to the next round as well. Next, a group of senior citizens took on the course. Ebenezer Scrooge, one of our wildcard competitors, fell at the twisting steps, and he didn't seem to have much Christmas cheer after that. Albus Dumbledore, the head of Hogwarts, fell on the cliffhanger after he lost his grip and went into the water. And then Vitruvius, one of our blind competitors from Billington, fell on the first obstacle, which was unfortunate. And here comes another wildcard competitor. It is the Party Llama from the video series, which just came out this year. He's doing quite well on the course as he has the salmon ladder in front of him. He begins, oh, it looks like he almost lost his grip, and he did lose his grip. It's too bad. Next, another wildcard competitor is Cookie Monster, picking up right where Party Llama left off, and Cookie Monster will be advancing as he munches away on some snacks. Captain Jack Sparrow from Legoopolis is at the Twisted Steps. Another difficult obstacle has claimed another good competitor. Sorry to see you go, Captain. Following Jack Sparrow, we have Parker Jackson, a newcomer to our series. She is at the cliffhanger, and halfway across, she fell into the water and is disqualified. Aragorn, a ranger from the north, is starting the course. He is from Legoopolis. We saw him last year, but he was unable to finish his qualifying round. But he is looking much stronger this year. He is at the Twisting Steps, which has claimed a lot of good names today, and he flew right over it. He has friends up in the Baggins box, and more friends from across Middle-earth watching on as he tackles the Salmon Ladder and jumps on the second-to-last rung. He will be advancing. Great job. Our final senior citizen to take on the course from Buildington is Beetlejuice. He's at the glass wedge, and he's already looking like he's off, and he's disqualified. Frozone, our final superhero to take on the course, is halfway up the Salmon Ladder, and he's in the water, which is too bad. We wanted to see our last superhero succeed, but not everyone can make it to the end. Good job, though. Our final finalist is Zane of Ninjago, representing New Brick City. He's at the start of the course as his teammates, many of whom are competitors and finalists, watch on. He has the glass wedge in front of him. Fun fact about Zane, he was in the finals of Season 1, but unfortunately ran out of time on the first part of the qualifiers and was disqualified. It looks like Zane will be advancing and a great win for our final finalist. Way to go. Well, that was a lot of finalists to get through, but what an exciting stage one we've had here in Los Legos. 22 competitors out of the 44 will be advancing. It just so happens to be a perfect split of those who succeeded and those who were disqualified. Stay tuned as this group tackles stage two. Thanks for watching.